Of all the, the regulars that we have on our, our show, there's only one who spends half his life underwater uh, spying on fish and, and their sex life. Guess who it is? A marine biologist, Reg Lipson. Here's Reg. You well? I'm very well, thank you, Bert. Last time you talked about zombies and we had a lot of fun. Yeah. What have you got for us today, Reg? Well, I thought I'd talk about a family of fish that live in southern Australia who have taught us a lot about the sexuality of human beings as well, Bert. Mm, that sounds interesting. It is an interesting family. They've got mothers and fathers and children. And perhaps the first thing we should do is have a look at the pictures of the mothers sure, and just, fathers. Just before you do, Reg, uh, just back to me one second. Thanks, Tony. I, I, I have been criticised uh, today by my floor manager and AFM and director and producer of the whole Box and Dice that I'm not taking my wines and cues. So I think we'll try something that's, that Johnny Carson used to use. When you feel it's time for me to wind up, go across to Joe, the piano player, and he's very softly, very softly, he starts to tittle something, and then I know it's time to go for a station break, and we'll do it American style. Like, no, 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 nice and uh, sort of um, um, as time goes by. Try it. Yeah. So when I hear that, I know that Reg has to get off, OK? Fine, fair enough. Okay, here we go. So the slide that Let's you have for us, slide. Reg. First of all, I think we'll have a look at the father, and you can see this fish is a large fish, and he's quite characteristically coloured. And then perhaps have a look at the mother, the female, and then have a look at the juvenile bird. And the first thing to notice is that all the babies resemble the mother because they are all female. There are no male children in this all those, family. All, all those fish aren't female. No, only all the juveniles are female, so there are no baby males. Yeah, but hang on so, a sec. If, well, how do you find the males eventually? That's what we've got to come to, because sorry. males exist. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little upset because I'm uh, listening for a piano. That's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> so if we go down underwater and I watch these fish living down there, what happens is each father, each male, has about ten females in his harem and lots of baby females, and he swims around all day and he gives them a very hard time. He attacks the females, he stops them feeding, and you really wonder you know, what sort of life they have. And then an incredible thing happens. Years ago, we removed the male from the harem. We wondered where he came from in the first place. No males are born at all. And an incredible thing happened. Every female in the harem commences to change to a male. Now, by collecting them, dissecting, we found the ovaries were disintegrating and the testicles were developing in the female body. So every female started to become a male. As soon as the biggest female became the male, and she makes the change first, she then harassed all the, the other half-change females and they reversed the sex change. Mm. And so the males were only formed as they were required. And there's a lesson in this, isn't there? I mean, if, if we don't harass our females, God knows what they're going to change into. Oh. <laughs> what do you say to that, Margaret? <laughs> 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 I'll keep very quiet. <laughs> yeah. Reg, it's probably a stupid question, but how do you, I mean, how do you observe this sort of thing? How do you mm. stay under long enough to, uh, do you work in shifts? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, we sort of do. I mean, really, we only go down for an hour at a time, but we might go down twice or three times in a day. But we're talking about 30 years of going down and over 6,000 hours. It's a long, 6, long time, now. isn't it? It is, yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. So what the question that was asked about human beings, of course, if one of those... I mean, what's the function of that male fish? He's merely a producer of sperm for the females. He does nothing else. And there's only one male per 10 females. So the question we ask is, why are there so many human males? I mean, if we are just sperm producers, then why are there so many of us? Because if there's... 5,000 million human beings on this planet mm. and every man releases 500 million sperm when he climaxes, that requires only 10 climaxes to populate the earth. Not 10 men, 10... <laughs> one night's work for me when I was young, Bert. <laughs> 10 climaxes. Yeah, I, I, you know, we've all got our own little uh, dilatations, what we like to talk about, but how, <laughs> how, did, how did we move from fish all of a sudden into your own private life hundreds of years ago? <laughs> I mean, if, if there's something, if you're auditioning for something, Reg, I mean, you're more than welcome to use the cameras. Thank you. Bert. Everything okay at home? <laughs> Everything's okay. Oh, well, your... it was when I left. Let Bert. me just check. It. Just like, like, put your arm out. <laughs> okay, now squeeze up there. Right now, listen very carefully when I say something. Do you have any problems in your life? Yes or no? My <laughs> no. God, in, you are in bad shape. Someone told me when they were discussing uh, the. <laughs> <laughs> we're finished. Why is about playing the piano? Yeah. Hang on a sec. You've got to realise.
I do suffer from short-term memory loss. Why is he playing? I've got to go. Well, just one very quick question. And just keep going yes, nice and quietly, Joe. Uh, someone told me that, that you've discovered there's, a, there's a, a tribe or a race here in the world that does much the same sort of thing. Exactly the same. Whereabouts? Uh, they're in the Caribbean, and I'll perhaps talk to you another day, but in that race, human beings change their sex without any medical or scientific intervention. Same thing happens, happens in television quite often. Just <laughs> <laughs> These are women in which they actually grow all the male genitalia and become fathers. They actually change and we've got it all documented and know all about it. Well, we would like to welcome you back. Naturally, we'll have to recheck your credentials before you come back, Reg. But that sounds fascinating. So we'll talk about it next time. Thank you. Reg Lipson, ladies and gentlemen.